Now in the previous video, I showed you guys coverage from the 335 odd. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a blitz that you can use. We're gonna start mixing it around with the 335 odd. Make sure you guys drop a like on today's video. Become a member of the Wolf Pack. I'm gonna drop the four man from this blitz, from this formation. I'm gonna show you guys the four man in the members section because you would all, all you would need to do is run that play. You know what I mean? So stay tuned members, that's coming. If you wanna become a member, link is in the description or there's a join button on the bottom. I know a bunch of people ask me, how do I join? Brothers, I think there's a link in the description. I'll make sure as this video goes up and then there's a join button underneath the videos. If I can, I will change my main channel page to always offer it to you guys once you click on it. However, I don't know how to even do that yet, so I'm gonna figure that out. So as far as personnel, we're gonna rock the same thing. We're gonna go ahead and put Averitt like we did in our previous video. We'll go ahead and put Stevens here. Leave Queen there. We're gonna go ahead and put Owe on the outside. We'll go ahead and put this guy, Campbell, here, and then we're gonna take Wolf out, put Williams there. And this is how I'm gonna run my defense, 335 odd. Now the name of the play is going to be, if I can find it here, it's a classic one, LB cross zero. Okay, you have pinch zero, LB cross zero. This one right here is gonna give you the most bang for your buck. Now, unblocked running backs, okay, check this out. Let's just do unblocked running back. You're gonna go ahead and spread the D-line, crash your line out. I'll explain the steps. You're gonna man up yourself to the running back, okay, like this. This is how you're gonna do it. Now, once the snap of the ball, I'll delay and then I'll follow the running back. Then I'll follow the running back, come to the edge. You'll see someone comes off the side, okay? Now, this is a man. A defensive blitz so if I see bunch I'm gonna go ahead and shade outside okay shade outside so what we're gonna do is left on a d-pad left stick up for spread the d-line left on the d-pad right stick up for slant outside and then we're gonna press wire triangle right stick to the outside then we're gonna man ourselves up to the running back press a or X right stick up for man coverage and then we select the Y which is running back Aaron Jones and then we hover here on this side right in front of this guy right here okay Hover right here, snaps the ball, I wait, wait, then I take off, okay? And you'll get that guy coming off. Now, if it's a blocked running back, okay, the, the, the adjustment changes. So I would run this setup if it's not a lot of yards or he doesn't need to get down the field because what people tend to do is if they need a lot of yards, they're blocking their running back. If they don't need a lot of yards, they're not blocking their running back, okay? But if you start sending blitzes, you don't wanna send this all the time. You're only gonna send this blitz when you need it, okay? Once. You get him into a third along, you'll probably use this next adjustment that I'm gonna talk about. So this is probably gonna be your main setup. So they're gonna, we're gonna block the running back. We're gonna do the same setup. Spread the D-line, spread the line out, okay? Then we're gonna get QB contain, RB or R1 for contain. This is gonna help versus the block running back. Then we're gonna man ourselves up to the running back. Stand on the same guy. It's not showing that I'm manned up to the running back, but the game is bugged and it's lagged. You guys know what time it is. There it goes. Now, what we're going to do is once we snap the ball, if we see that the, the running back's blocked, we're just gonna hover on the line before we try to jump routes and then I'm gonna shade outside. Don't forget that you're shading inside, outside. That's just a little chest thing. You think they're going outside, you shade outside. You know what I mean? Inside, you shade inside. Snap the ball, I'm gonna hover right here, hover, hover, and we're still gonna get someone coming off the edge. So you're seeing just how powerful this defense can be with the previous video that I showed you guys. And this is gonna be against Bunch. The only choice they're gonna have is to max protect their max protect their offense and i don't know if the blitz even comes in anymore once they do that may or may not now we get someone coming off the middle it's it's a very glitchy defense <laughs> the defense has been glitchy for a long time even in previous maddens so uh it, it works really well now you can fake all this okay remember you can fake all this you don't have to send it that way uh, you could fake it. Let's assume they see that because smarter players are going to know the defense you're in by looking at your defense. So right here, you see these safety sitting low. That tells me, oh, man, right? Man blitz. This is a man blitz. Typically, when it's just regular cover two man, they're sitting a little bit further back. Let's see if I go ahead and just switch to cover two man. Let's see if they drop back. Okay, they don't drop back. Maybe because I clicked on them, but they'll sit a little bit further out. Okay, it's just a it's just the thing that happens and I can see it as I come out of the, the, the huddle, okay? So you could fake that. You can actually go to cover two, man. Let's go ahead and reset the play and let's just assume like these guys are still down here like they were, right? And then you could just switch. You could uh, audible to cover two, man, and then put these guys on clouds or it'll look like this. Boom, inside third. Now, if it's long yards, you change your coaching adjustments to 25 with cloud flats, okay? So you put your flats to 25. If it's a lot of yards, 
You know what I mean? If you think you're gonna get cooked one-on-one -on -one with Adams over the left side, or if it's someone fast, you go ahead and put this guy on a deep path. So it'll look like this, and then you're just gonna watch the running back. And you can shade outside. You see what I'm saying? Now we're shading outside. People are lining the way they're supposed to. Boom, we follow the running back. He's our assignment. And now, <laughs> with that right there, you see how when we did that, he came straight off the line? It's just, it's a glitchy, glitchy defense. Let's go ahead and do this again. Deep path. Uh, we'll go ahead and put this guy on a curl flat and then shade down and up so he goes into a, hard, a cloud flat from curl flat to hard flat. And then we'll press, okay? You can separate the line. And if you get the glitchy where, oh, it goes across the field like this. But he's running back across. We, we're trying to get it to where he actually comes back down the field. And then you can just run it this way and you fake it. Now you have the coverage. Boom. Now you're not getting the pressure that you were getting, but you're going to get you're going to get the coverage that you need to stop like deep crossers or whatnot. Um, go ahead and move these guys. Go back to cover two, man. Let's go ahead and you can press, right? You can man align all these different things that you want to do. There we go. We send him back to the other side, right? And then we snap the ball. Boom. And you're just trying to mix it up, confusing your opponent, trying to get easy stops. You could do it. You could even do the cover jazz. You don't even need to go to cover two man, bro. You know what I mean? You can actually just man up the running back, put this guy in a, in a, in a curl flat. Usually what people do is they'll just put one guy in a curl flat on the bunch side, and then they'll watch the running back. You know what I mean? And then they'll just take off and things like that. But if you want to set up the blitz like, and you want it to be successful, set it up the way I tell you and do what I tell you. Spread the line, crash them out. Come over here, man up, man up yourself to the to the running back. He snaps the ball, boom. You get the guy coming off the edge, and he's gonna be pressured. He's not gonna be able just to just do what he wants. And then when he blocks the running back, you QB contain. So if you notice he's gonna block his running back, which is gonna be primarily on a long yard situation, make sure you contain, man yourself up to the running back, and still stay on this side. And then if he sits low, you stay low with him, and you're just gonna have a whole bunch of people coming from everywhere. If not, you're definitely gonna get Queen off the edge, and it's just gonna be a lovely thing now if you haven't seen my other video right before this i talk about coverage aspect because i know there's gonna be people i could cook this you could probably cook it if you knew it was coming but there are other defensive plays within the 335 odd and this is going to be a rare play that you see because they're only going to call it when they need it so yes you could beat it if someone ran it on you all the time right but how are you going to know when they start blending this all in and they disguise everything this is what i'm trying to teach you guys don't ever run the same plays over and over you want to disguise it and send stuff at them when they don't expect it. So if they're like, if they're dotting you up and they're getting like passes, corner routes, and they hit a crossing around in their minds, they feel like they can dot you up. Then you come through and you send this at them. You're going to scare them. And that's, that's going to put fear in their hearts, bro. You put the fear in their hearts. You guys see how many people I struggle with whenever I'm playing them. And then I just start sending pressure, 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 and they can't, they don't know what to do anymore. And so we win those games. That's what I'm trying to teach you guys, okay? So you disguise this, use them when you need them to really put the clamps down on your opponent. If you're gonna wanna see the format, I'm gonna drop it in the members section. It's pretty awesome. It enhances, it actually makes, this defense is probably better than the 245 odd, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you both variations. There's a four man already in the member section for 245 odd, 335 odds coming today. Love you guys, man, peace.